Welcome to the second OSC tutorial on FreeCAD. Here we continue in 3D to make assemblies. You can select any planar face of the 3D object, internal or external, and create new features on that face. Select the face, click on Create Sketch, then Close. Select Pad from Sketch Tools, or select Pocket. You can reverse the direction of the pad, or make the pad stick out symmetrically in two directions. You can create repeating patterns. Select the hole then select Create a Linear Pattern Feature tool. Select the number of occurrences and the length. You can do this horizontally or vertically. To make a circular pattern, work around the coordinate origin. Click on Create a Polar Pattern Feature. Select the number of repeats and select the angle. You can do the same for pads. In part design, you can fill it an edge and chamfer an edge. If you apply this to a face, all edges are modified. To move objects, switch to the draft workbench. Select an object, then select the move tool. Select a single plane. You can select any point for moving, but it's helpful to select a corner or midpoint which have snapping. You can't move a pad unless you make a copy first. Click copy in the move window or use the clone tool or use control C, control V in the tree view. The move with copy leaves the original pad in place. The other copy methods put the copy indistinguishably at the location of the original. Move them over to C. Deleting a part is done with a delete key on a keyboard. Mesh files such as imported STLs are not solids but shells and appear as green meshes in a tree view. They can be moved just like solids. To rotate objects, select the object, then click the rotate tool. You can rotate around any point. You can use snapping. Click on a convenient second point to create a handle, then move the pointer and type in the exact angle, such as 90 degrees. You can use Boolean operations on solids, add, subtract, and inter intersect shapes. Select two objects first, then choose the operation. Subtractions work only on two objects, and the order of selection matters. The first part selected is the master object, so select the shaft first to make the groove by subtracting the ring. The intersection function can be applied to two selected objects. To make a union, you can select any number of parts. The result appears as a fusion in the tree view. You can select multiple parts in the tree view by holding down the shift or control key, and you can right click to create group, which can be used for part organization. To do booleans with meshes, you need to convert the mesh to a solid. Go to the Mesh Design Workbench. Select the Mesh and go to Meshes, Analyze, Evaluate and Repair Mesh, and click Analyze All. Click Repair if there are any defects, then Close. Then go to the Part Workbench. Create Shape from Mesh, click OK, and the resulting shape is still a shell and may need cleaning. Select Refine Shape to get rid of unnecessary vertices. Finally, convert the clean shell to a solid. Then you can subtract this solid from another. The results look cleaner in shadow draw style. Constraints for 3D assemblies can be imposed in the Assembly 2 workbench. You can align cylindrical features by selecting two circular edges. Create a bolt by using the fastener workbench. Select the size. Back in Assembly 2, click the circular constraint and, the, and select the bottom of the bolt head and the hole. This will join them concentrically on the same plane, which works even when there's an angle between the two objects. You can animate the result with the Animate button. To align two items to the same plane, select the Add Plane constraint. Select the face of one object and a face or point of another. To constrain two objects on an axis, select two cylindrical surfaces for coaxial alignment, or you can select two edges to make them align. Animate. You can add an angular constraint here by selecting around the two surrounding faces. You can select an angle through the tree view. To create a spherical constraint, select a spherical surface and a point. Or you can select two spherical surfaces.